Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. Today's topic is weighing stuff on filter papers. The question I was asked was, how is it that you can take a piece of filter paper, filter through it, let it dry out, and then when you're done, the filter paper actually weighs less than it did when you started. All right. Entirely possible, depending on how you define your terms, as always. This is a piece of standard filter paper, Whitman filter paper. It is a felted material. If you, if you get the piece of yourself and hold it up for the light, you can see fibers going. And felting is where you take a bunch of fibers, mash them together to make cloth, okay? And if you really know about felting, I apologize for that all too brief explanation. But anyway, when you say something is a 3 micron filter, hang on to your wallet on this one, boys and girls. We run into this all the time on our filter systems. What they mean is that when you take all the fibers and overlap them enough that, depending on how they define it, something like 90% of the holes will be 3 microns or less. It's okay, but highly imprecise. Okay, it's even worse with cartridge filters, and if you get a bad manufacturer, you're just all over the board. The other thing is, these are these are stiff. Part of the felting, if you taste them, I don't know if you want to taste them or not. Quite often, they will also have something like a sizing on them. Uh, sometimes it's part of the process to get them to lay nice and flat. Sometimes it's part of the process to make them to make them a little stiff. In any case, what you have is a whole bunch of fibers, and the fibers are varying lengths. Um, this is part of the problem recycling paper. Paper with long fibers, like sheets with long fibers and whatnot, the longer the fibers that mix together, the stronger it is, as they get recycled, the fibers get shorter and shorter and shorter because they get broken up and mixed in it. So in and amongst here, you have a whole bunch of little short fibers. You can also break the fibers in the handling. Uh, you can break the fibers in the filtering. You can dissolve some of the joints between the fibers. So you can weigh this piece of filter paper that I have here in my hand run the appropriate materials through it and when you let it dry out take all the materials off and when you're done the filter paper weighs less than you started because of mass loss and mass loss either as the fibers um, or as a sizing or some other material that was originally used in the manufacturing process to manufacture it or that was added later to improve the use of the filter paper, this goes into a this goes into a vacuum filtration system. But if you do it like this to put a fun to make the classic funnel they taught you in chem class, then you're going to break some fibers. If you use it flat, you're going to suck out the fiber, the smaller fibers when you use it in a vacuum. And that's two ways you can lose mass through a filter paper to get a filter paper that weighs less when you're through than it did when you started. Thank you.